good morning. Welcome to the second video on van life routines. In this video, my morning routine is, includes coffee, making coffee, who doesn't like that? My music setup for the day, doing some personal hygiene, that'd be cleaning the teeth and what have you, and we're gonna make breakfast. And as we're eating breakfast, I'm gonna show you how I plan my day and the tools I use. Van life isn't just vacation for me, I'm a working entrepreneur, maybe even you as a retiree have a lot of things to do for the day. This sets up the day for a really productive, happy day in van life. But first, you gotta put away the bed. If you, have, if you have not seen that video, we'll put it right here for you so you can see how the day starts at the crack of dawn. Let's roll. Okay, with the bed put away, I wanna talk about the air conditioner and why it's running. Currently in the cab, it is 68 degrees. I was pretty cool overnight, so you might be wondering why am I running the air conditioner? Three reasons. The campground I'm at, uh, this is Memorial Day weekend, is filled with campers. They're out having a good time. I live in my van full time, so to me, this is another day, not a day to kind of grill out and make campfires because the camp was full of wood smoke overnight. If I'd left my windows open and was you know, venting air in the van from outside and up through the ceiling fan, which needs cleaning, uh, I would smell like a campfire in here. I don't like that at all. So reason number one is keep the campfire smell out by closing the windows using AC. Reason number two is it puts white noise in the van so that I don't hear them running around and screaming until quiet time, which is about 10 p.m. I went to bed at eight last night and this, by keeping the fan moving, the air is moved and I can dial up the temperature, meaning it, the compressor runs less. And even at 68 degrees in here, I'm okay with that because I like a cool, dark, mostly, quiet environment. All right, with the bed taken care of, let's do the next thing, which is to get some music going. I don't know about you, but I like to have music kind of like right from the get-go. So I'm gonna use my iPad here. I'm gonna use the music app. Currently I'm into Tyler Chiller's music, so we'll get that going. Now because of copyright, I'm not able to actually play the music for you. I'm gonna play it off my Jensen stereo. These are Bluetooth connected. So you can hear them play there. I'm gonna turn this down so YouTube can't hear this. Um, and what I wanna do is make sure I'm using zone A, which is inside the cabin. The speakers are right here, see that? If I was to use zone B, there is no zone B. That's where Winnebago should have put speakers in the back bedroom. But zone C for me is outside speakers on this side of the van pointing toward my picnic table. And we don't want to put music outside. It's fairly early here. So with the music playing, the next thing we're going to do is get the coffee started. And then we're going to wash up and clean teeth. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the camper van class B way to travel. For me, coffee is an important part of the day. I drink coffee throughout the day. Um, I keep all my, my supplies right here. So ground coffee. I keep the filters are tucked behind the uh, in the cabinet right here. Like that. My handy coffee mug. So this is ground coffee. Um, I purchased this at Costco. Uh, I like diner style coffee. I am not a coffee snob. I don't even like fancy coffee. Uh, so what I do is I put two scoops of ground coffee into the filter basket. And what I've done here is I keep repurposing the same bag. Why? Because it fits perfectly into the back of the cabinet. Coffee fits in right here. This is the coffee filters. This is a solar charge controller in my Winnebago Travato, so that just fits in there perfectly like that. The coffee pot fits right here, but we're focusing on making coffee. So let's put some water into the coffee maker just like that. Close lid. Good morning, Prince. Plugged in. On. And while I'm cleaning up with my teeth program in here, the coffee is going to be ready in a few minutes. Perfect. So my morning routine consists of cleaning the teeth, cleaning my um, 
retainer. And then up here in the medicine chest, I have the, the daily bin. This contains all the items I would use in my morning routine. This bin is where I have uh, overages and things like that. So I have a tremendous amount of space in this small space. And what I like to do is turn my front light on. We'll dim that down just a little bit. It gives me a little bit of light on the front of me. Hello, everybody. Because this light casts a shadow. I'd much prefer this light to be here than where it is. So if you haven't seen my video on the tip of the puck lights, you'll want to see that. All right, let's get scrubbing. Right, with clean mouth and washed face and kind of got the hair cleaned up. Let's clean up the bathroom. What I do is I take a couple of paper towels and then I just give everything a quick wipe down. Uh, what that does is keep um, spots from forming, keeps things clean. I clean the inside of the bowl like that. And uh, again, just get all the water off the countertop so it doesn't leave spots and marks. Just hit this because the flossing inevitably gets a few specks of stuff floating around. And then that essentially is how I keep the bathroom clean on a daily basis. And this is the reason why, boys and girls, I love having a separate bathroom for these daily duties. Toilet, sink, toilet number two. Um, and this is again why I love my Travato 59G because I have a separate bathroom, huge and functional, in a Class B RV. What do you think so far? Kind of exciting, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is make some breakfast. And let me uh, remove the back uh, panel for the, uh, the window cover. So these are what came with my uh, Travato back in 2018, and I still use it to this day. I actually prefer this a lot. What I do is I fold this up, and it's going to sit right up here. Just kind of fold along the lines that, that came with. I rolled up pretty tight like this. and then just fits in just like that. So all this is accessible at a moment's notice. All right, let's get cooking, good looking. Before we get cooking, let's make some coffee. What I like about this is, again, five cups at a time. And when I start my teeth routine, by the time I'm done, the coffee is ready. Mm, there's something about coffee in the morning, right? especially when you're doing it in your van. So delish. It's so important in van life, you know, traveling in your camper van, that everything has a spot and everything goes back to that spot when it's time. So this is where my backpack hangs all the time, right from this big command hook. This is a 10 pound uh, load capacity. This is where my backpack lives all the time. Part of my new routine lately, as I'm getting in better fitness, is I purchased this biometric kind of scale. And what does I do as I put it here? Let me show you how this works. So what this is gonna do is set, and we're going to capture my weight, my fat, my water, and my BMI. So I'm gonna step on the scale. I'm at 170, 170 pounds. Now it's gonna track the other biometric components. So it's 21.7 fat, 57.3% water, with a BMI rating of 24.4. Now, why is this important? It's important to me because tracking leads to change. And what uh, there's a video coming out about getting unhealthy in the RV and how I switched gears to make myself more healthy. I measured myself every morning, half for the last almost a month now. And what I've been able, what I've been able to do is lose 10 pounds and start a brand new gym routine, which has been so important and so lacking for the last couple of years. More on that later. I'll show you where I stow my scale. This was about $35 at the old Walmart. It fits right in here every day. Just like that. See that? So safe and sound, traveling. And then at night, when I put the bed down, before I put the bed down, it stores up front. All right, let's go into the egg motion. All right, what I'm trying to do is avoid using a, a fry pan, which you use my propane cooktop. Why? It's just a little more convenient. I've learned how to do a soft scramble 
with two eggs in the microwave. It takes two paper plates. Let me show you how this works. So what I'm doing is putting in egg number one onto the plate, egg number two onto the plate. I use a sharp edge of the shell to kind of break up the yolk and the yolk sac so it doesn't explode, but it kind of does anyway. So what I use the second plate for is covering this up, and then this goes into the microwave. This will be a little tricky one-handed here, but let's see if we can't make this happen without making a mess. So this goes into the microwave. Like that. And then with the combination of the microwave energy and the steam, we're gonna give it 44 seconds. Got this down to a science pretty good. Start, egg start cooking. And what I'm doing here is using rice, white rice, which is right here. And what I'm doing for rice these days is this. I no longer carry my Instapot, which is all I used to make rice. So I've learned a better way, and that is right here. You can actually get prepared rice in the grocery store. This costs about two bucks. Comes in some flavors, jasmine, there's Thai lime herb, and there's even wild rice. But for just breakfast purposes, I'm gonna use white rice, but that's where that comes from. And that's how I'm doing rice these days. Much, much better than my big old Instapot. Okay, with the eggs done, let's take these out and go to the next step. Take them out of the microwave and ready? Reveal. So what this does is it essentially cooks them to almost a soft scramble. And I kind of move it around a little bit. Now you notice I'm not putting a lot of salt and pepper on this at this point. That's on purpose. What I do next is put the rice in. So two eggs and about a half a cup of rice. This is actually a pretty healthy breakfast. The eggs for obviously protein and the rice is carbohydrates. The rice kind of fills me up for a few, few hours, which is fantastic. Now, this being cold but cooked, all we need to do is heat the rice and finish cooking the eggs and into the microwave for another 44 seconds. And just like that, we're gonna be cooking eggs, rice. I do the same thing with ham. Cook the eggs the same way, then put a couple slices of deli ham on the plate at the second cooking point and that just warms the deli ham so i can do eggs and ham for one in just a couple of minutes and there's no cleanup with a really sticky pan and i really love it if you're into exploring exotic flavors spicy chili crisp i have no idea how to say the brand's name but again if you seek out an asian grocery store not the grocery not the international section of a standard store you have to go to an asian grocery store if you've had dim sum before and kind of the, the crisp chili uh, sauce that you uh, use for dim sum, this is similar, but so much better. It's got onion in it. It's got bits of chili. It's on the hot side, but kind of a mild hot. It's got so much flavor, which is the whole point of this breakfast. Let's check our work. So again, with steam doing a lot of the work here. What I can do is move this around a bit, just to make sure it's as cooked as necessary. If it's a little loose, I don't mind. You may disagree. So it's not overly cooked hard. And then what I do is I put a little bit of the chili crisp onto this. So this is kind of the see that the, the consistency of it so it looks like that again if you've been to a dim sum house dim sum restaurant you know what, what that looks like i'm pretty generous with this stuff i love this stuff and because it's fairly salty and peppery from the um mm, from the chilies it actually doesn't need any salt or pepper to my taste buds all right let's eat from the chilies it actually doesn't need any salt or pepper to my taste buds. All right, let's eat. 
a lot of times what I like to do is use the paper plate for cooking, but it's pretty flimsy, right? So I use my Hydro Flask plate. I love these plates. Stay tuned for a video on that. I'm using Hydro Flask flatware, stainless steel, so delicious. Uh, I'm going to close this curtain because that is not the best view in the world. <laughs> and um, so typically what I like to do is eat. Let me get my coffee. And then I'm going to start thinking about my day. Um, let's have a few bites of this first. Mm, so yummy. Mm. Looking for something different. And you are a savory kind of a food person. You really should do yourself a favor and try this. You're going to do one, one of two things. Love it or hate it. Mm. So while I'm eating, what I typically like to do is kind of, again, get myself set up for the day. So there's tools I use for that. One is Apple Notes, and I use a clean note. So I use a template each day for um, journaling, for things I need to do, remembering critical things. I always try and put a picture of the day at the top. So at a glance, I know this brings me back to that special place. So the first thing I do is kind of think about what am I grateful for? And I write that down on the space provided on my iPad. So what are you grateful for? You learn anything? We've already given you a number of tips in this little video. But more importantly, what are you grateful for today? Go ahead and think about that and write that down. I'm going to be grateful for fine weather. I am grateful for you, my awesome YouTube audience. And then I start thinking about what do I need to do for the day? Well, let me finish eating, then I'll show you the rest. And breakfast is over. So delicious and simple. I throw away the paper plates like that. These go into the sink to wash later, and this wasn't dirty at all, so it goes back up into the cabinet. We fold that up, and this just simply goes into the trash like that. Great. And this plate stores right up here like that, and that is good to go. Let me show you how I plan my day, the tool I use, and then we'll call it a wrap on this video. Morning routine part two. And there's eight parts in this series. You don't want to miss a single one. One routine for me is keeping track of all the things I need to do for that day and that week and that month because I'm a self-employed entrepreneur now. So unless I'm not doing, I'm not making any of the moolah, which I've never worked harder, but never been more satisfied. So there's a couple tools that I use. What I like to do always is just check the weather to see what in the heck the weather looks like for the day. So we can see here that it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be 82 degrees today, so we're probably gonna need the AC running, is my guess. Next thing I, I use is, again, I use Apple Notes, and I have a template that I've built that uh, allows me to quickly fill in uh, various elements throughout the day. Uh, it's a journal and a to-do list, but I like to capture things throughout the day. So there's a section for, what am I grateful for? There's me, there's Kyle, there's money, there's go small, live large van life, nature, just capturing things throughout the day. And then I've got my to-do list um, broken into three areas. What matters most, which is all about you, because I'm recording and editing today. That would be uh, the big thing for the day. Um, and then what are some important tasks? So the matters most, can't go to bed until those are done. Matters most is kind of B related, B one, two, three tasks. Uh, these are my embassy RV partner related and then we got some quick wins uh, coming up because um, I need to get my appointment set for Elkhart because we're headed there in a couple weeks. And then there's an evening review. So as I go into bedtime, uh, what I do is write down um, a, th a thought for the day, kind of a, a summary of the day. And then what are three big accomplishments that I did for the day? And I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, this goes back many years. Uh, my form keeps iterating, but I uh, really find this to be a valuable tool to help my brain think clearly on what do I need to get done and to capture the relevant um, and kind of important and sometimes completely not important things that happen to me throughout the day. It's just a nice journal log of um, my life at this point in my life, um, which is pretty cool. The other tool that I use is called Trello. This is the icon right here. And if you think about it being a collection of bulletin boards, that's what each of these are. It's a board, as it's called. And each board has column headings. So here's this is regarding what's up Wednesday. So guest ideas, scheduled, 
day of thank you metrics done. And these are all of the what's up Wednesdays we've done 70, what, five consecutive weeks now. So what I do is I, I order these cards so that as they move across, like this one's coming up, we we'll go over there. So these cards are then moved and everything related to that particular uh, uh, what's up Wednesday show goes here. And that's helps, helps me keep track of things very, very simply. So that's my what's up Wednesday board. This is my uh, video board. This is what we're working on right now. So this video is going to post this Sunday today. Um, these are vid videos that are coming up. These are videos that have happened. And again, what I'm looking at here is what videos are needing to be made to stay on this particular schedule, which is about three videos a week for the next month or so. Uh, it's a lot of videos, boys and girls, so we're very busy. Here's our van series. We did that one already, the morning bed. This is where we are right here, start my day. So I look at this quickly, uh, what's coming up. These are my cards that are due, uh, very short order. So again, it gives me a visual on what is going on. And then I put those elements into what needs to happen that particular day. And that's how I roll, getting my day started. So I hope you enjoyed that little glimpse into my life, daily routine of van life. That's the making breakfast, making coffee, getting ready for the day. And the next video we're gonna see is on running errands, how we go to the grocery, how we go shopping, and how we repackage some of that to go into the van uh, very, very easily. Like, comment, subscribe. Did you find this useful? The Duke, he approves of all this so far. And subscribe to the channel if you like van tours, van products and van tips camper van travel guides coming very soon until we see you soon i wish you to journey on have a good day